you can try and judge things as a person or as a messenger or a man of God or walking in an ordinance of God, but you have to be very careful. Now that's why the scripture clearly states, and you can find this, find any booklet that will help you in this, that prophets know in part and they, and they prophesy in part. We don't know everything. All I can give you is what I've seen. God has everything. He knows everything. He watches everything. Now, Satan is very wise. And this is what I have learned. Palestine, Iran, Iraq, all of these nations are a territory that he wants to subdue in time because of the wealth of what he can gain from that land. But what he desires is to be worshipped and that is to get into the place of Jerusalem. That's Satan's goal. It had always been his goal to be upon the throne of God. And the throne of God is in Jerusalem. The throne in the earth, that is, is in Jerusalem. You will find that in Revelations. Well, he will sit upon the throne. It's only for a period of time, but that's his goal. Uh, administration, President, Mr. President Bush, that's Satan's goal. Now, you've got to understand his ranks of armies. I thought that those people in that region were his elite army. But I have news for you. They are not. They're second. You know who Satan's first infantry is? Communist nations. And I understood it in this dream. That would explain the gold city. It was gold. Everything turned gold. Because it was his greatest advance. And see, while we've been fighting the second infantry, the first infantry has been moving. You can take it or leave. Satan is very wise. Now, this is what I got. You are exhausting yourself in that Middle Eastern region. And Satan knows it. And while you're exhausting, exhausting yourself, he is build, he's, he's raising up his other army. I don't know when he's going to strike. But I know we have enough sin built up in heaven. Now let's consider the scriptures. The Lord God came down to Abram, Abram at the time. And he says, I wonder if I should tell Abram what I plan to do to Sodom, Sodom and Gomorrah. And Abram says, Lord, if there be 45, if there be 50, 50 righteous, will you, you know, sustain the city? If there be 45, and he went down and down, down to 10. But God says, I wonder if I should tell Abram what I purpose to do. Now catch this. He also stated, let me go down to see if the sin of the city is as the cry thereof. He wanted to know if the cry of the sin was as great as what was coming in, into heaven. So he came down to see it. You have made great error that I have been sending documentation to you based on kingdom principles to do away with sin. I have witnessed men laying with children in these pornography tapes that I know are not 18. Those children look like they're 14 and 15. And it circulates through your country. I have been warning you to deal with this, this foolishness. These pedophiles. The wickedness in your structure of government. God has been witnessing his children. Let me tell you something. His children are looking online. Right now! Right now! They are looking online at that foolishness and that wickedness and perversion right now as I speak and as you are looking at this they are looking at that perversion and I've been warning you to get rid of it and you keep denying the word till 
time is ticking away. You think you can outsmart the Prince of Persia? You have sadly mistaken yourselves. Three years. You've been being warned. Do away with the sin. He has rightful cause to strike you. It's a kingdom principle. He couldn't destroy Christ because Christ had no sin. Adam lost rights because of what? Sin. The judges leading Israel lost their rights of territory because of sin. Your laws will never place Satan on the back burner. Your laws will never intimidate him. The only thing that intimidates the Prince of Persia, the son of perdition, is the name of Jesus Christ. You have sadly mistaken. You have made great, great, great error. Your sin has multiplied. And it just as he has visited Sodom and Gomorrah, he is visiting your nation. And he does not like what he has seen. Since we have pushed God away, he deals with the nations by the nations. Call a day of prayer. We're running out of time. Call a day of prayer. Call a day of prayer. Set the people in ordinance. In the dream, this prince, this wicked prince, he had so much control that he played a game with you because he knew he had rightful cause to do whatever he wanted. And he knew you were exhausted. You have been placing your eyes on the wrong infantry. You have no idea what the prince has been doing. And he was laughing. I heard him laughing. Because your surveillance couldn't find his tool. Why is it a tool? Because it's going to try and make rights for him to enter a certain place. You have sadly mistaken. I did not understand communism, but that is his army on a greater level, a level that you do not realize, and I saw it last night. It's a powerful army for him, the prince of this world. whatever. Take it or leave it. Take it or leave it. You keep going nation to nation, running your mouth based on your principles. But your principles didn't make life. Your principles never fought in the kingdom of heaven. God fought with Michael and the archangels. Okay? And they, the fallen, are here. But you keep trying to fix issues of nations with your diplomacy. And you don't understand that there's a law of kingdomship written by God Almighty. It's so sad! I can feel it! I feel it! I feel the sadness! I can feel it! I don't know if you have analysts there to say, oh, maybe the man's out of his mind. 
you don't understand the ordinances of God. I've been giving you instructions. Get rid of the sin. Get rid of the sin. I see it, people. I see it. I see it so clearly. I see it. I fear my dreams. I don't like them. I see it. You got to stop this sin. I'm telling you, you must end this sin. You've got to stop it. You're going to lose lives. I keep trying to tell you, your governments cannot fight against the Prince of Persia, the Prince of this world. You cannot. You have got to call upon the name of Jesus Christ. He is the only one that can deliver you. You have got to listen to me. I feel it. I see so much confusion. Prophets cry, all right? I'm a soldier. But when we see, it gets to us because we know 